Hi, I'm artist rep Elizabeth Gale for Face Paint Forum Shop and today I'm going to paint this cute, goofy um, dinosaur design for your arm. So I'm going to use start off with this Fusion uh, Leanne's Rainbow Palette and this one is the Fairy Palette. And I'm going to use, it's just got lovely bright colours, really tropical-y kind of colours. So I'm going to use the one in the middle which is, I imagine, a really lovely warm tropical sunset would be. I think that's what it would be like in the dinosaur era. <laughs> so I'm going to use this sponge dauber and get the dark pink. I've got the I've loaded up with the dark pink on the top. As so you just press down on your arm, you can swivel it a bit um, just to blend the colours in. And you keep going until you get a really nice round, crisp shape. And if it's not quite right, you can just use the edges of the sponge where you've got the darker colour just to even up. The circle shape on the top and then I've got a global one stroke which is called London and they do an, another similar one called Miss Mermaid which has similar colors in it which you could use but any sort of greeny bluey uh, one stroke and I'm using a half inch angle brush I'm just gonna pick up the bluey color in the middle and then the green at the bottom I'm not going to pick up that dark blue purpley colour. I'm going to use that later on for his spikes. So you've loaded it up really well. And if you've got a little bit of excess, you can just wipe it off on the towel. Take off a bit of extra water. And then I'm going to do the dinosaur head shape. And it's just going to cover the bottom of this sunset circle that we did earlier. Just going to tidy up. You can take a bit of paint off the bottom to stop it from bleeding through. And then to create the head it's just going to be a scoop around the top and then down for his neck. And then to create the nose, it's going to be like a, almost like a square shape. So you want to just curve round at the top and then straight down. And then flick the brush in. And that's where the bottom of his mouth is going to be. So it's really simple, quick shape. And then fill that middle part in uh, with a lighter colour on the end of your brush. You can just go back over and tidy it all up. And so for the next, to create the green leafy pattern underneath, I'm going to use this DFX one stroke, which is called Snake. And they do quite a few similar ones, different similar colours. Um, I think it's green carpet, the leaf glow, something like that. And I'm going to do this leaf pattern at the bottom, so almost like a tropical leaf. So start with a line, so you know where your leaf is going to end. And then to create the leaf pattern, almost like a like a normal leaf on the end. I'm just going to load it up a little bit more so you can get enough of that dark green. You want a, quite a bit of dark on the end so that you get a bit of a contrast. And then pull in. And flick in with your brush and keep going all the way to the end of the line that you drew. So start on the tip, push down and flick in. Now load it up a little bit more and then I'm going to do some more uh, leaf patterns curving down. And this just helps to hide the rest of the neck of the dinosaur. So if, they, if you're at a busy party and they want a dinosaur on their arm, um, you're not going to have time to do the whole, you know, whole shape of a dinosaur. So sometimes I find just painting the head and then disguising it with green leaves and flowers and things like that underneath is a, an easier solution. I'm just using the end of the brush, the same shapes again, but just making them a bit longer and curving round. And I'm going to do some at the top as well, just to connect the design together. So pushing down and then finishing on the end of your brush. Like that. And then another one there, just to hide the edge. And things always look better in threes, so I'm just going to do three at the top.
And then I'm going to go back to the one stroke that I was using earlier and pick up some of that dark purple and I've got my number two low Cornell brush. And get a good load of that purple and then I'm just going to do the spikes on the back of this dinosaur's head. So he's going to have three in total. So one at the top. These are just little half circle shapes. Curving around like that. And then one at the bottom. I'm also going to use the same colour just to do some cute little light like, scales going down his neck. And very, it'd be nice, it's nice to vary all the different shapes. So some big ones, some little ones, and then fade them out as it gets to the bottom. And also um, the same on his top of his nose. Actually, going to make some of them a little bit bigger just so they stand out a bit more. You could use a stencil for this part if you've got a really good sort of scaly stencil, but you can create the same kind of effect with your brush. So next I've got my, still got my number two brush and I'm going to paint uh, some teeth. No, I'm going to do the, um, I'm going to do the eye first actually with the DFX black. So I'm just loading up and then getting a good load on the brush and then just swirling your brush in the paint to create a nice point. I'm just going to stamp down a little eye shape, so about where his neck, in line with his neck, where his neck starts. Just a little eye. Like that. And a little eyebrow. And also a little nostril -y, snouty bit. I don't know the technical term for dinosaurs nostrils. <laughs> and then I'm going to use the same brush um, and this is DFX white. And exactly the same thing, just loading up really well and then swirling it to get a nice point on the brush. And this is going to be his teeth, so his teeth are going to, just going to come down on the line, on that line that you created with the one stroke. So they start off quite big teeth and then they fade out into smaller little ones. And I'm also going to stamp a little dot for his eye as well. And so next I'm going to start outlining the dino in this dark DFX green. And still using a number two brush. Now you can go ahead and just outline his shape of his head and the teeth. And if you flick up at the end of the little tooth, it makes it look like he's got a little ball. A bit more friendly, a bit more of a smiley face. Sometimes outlining in a different colour other than black is quite nice. It's a bit softer. It doesn't. It's sometimes black can be quite harsh, so a different colour can like a dark brown looks quite good, or dark like a wine colour or dark green. I'm just going to go around his teeth as well, just to make them stand out a bit more. And you could leave this outlining step off. I mean, if you wanted to make it much quicker. It's not really necessary, but. And I'm gonna do some uh, teardrops um, in the leaf pattern. Just one down the middle and then a few in between. Again, you could leave this part off. And then sometimes I just faff about for a while wondering what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to do some uh, long teardrops coming up to connect these leaves up to his head. 
and then a swirl coming down I think yeah there we go and sometimes I just do it in the air and it helps me work out where I'm gonna go with it before I do it it's a bit weird but it kind of works sometimes and then some at the top as well so one there down it's a bit dry that load so I'm gonna load it up a bit more and then I'm gonna turn that one into like almost like a like a palm tree but like a sort of tropical palm and then add a few more teardrops in and you could use a stencil if you wanted if if you weren't good at doing line work, you could easily put a palm tree stencil in before you drew the dinosaur head. So you could do your sunset colour first and then do a nice um, palm tree stencil and then do the head over the top. And then I'm going to load up some DFX white again with a number two brush and just do some highlights on his spiky neck bit. And across the top of his nose. Just go over his teeth again, they've gone a bit. Sometimes if they go over a darker colour, like a green or a dark blue, they need a bit of a couple of coats. And then some little starbursts at the top. And one underneath. Now I think I put one in this gap here, it's a bit of a gap there, so that will just fill that in. And that's this dinosaur done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today and check out my Instagram page for more arm painting at sparkleface underscore face painting. And don't forget to check out Face Paint Forum Shop for all these supplies and much more. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.